Hi guys, welcome back to another part of Core Java tutorial. The previous part we already see what do you mean by an inner class in Java. So in this part we are going to learn about inner class in Java with a complete working example. So here I am going to create an example for demonstrating what do you mean by inner class and how you can use it programmatically in Java. So here I am going to create a class named Outer Class. Now I am going to create an inner class in this class called Outer Class. So class Inner Class. So now there are two classes, an outer class and inner class. The class named inner class is declared within the within the scope of the outer class. Now I just declare a variable on the outer class. I name it as outer data and I just specify a value for that string vi string variable I just assign a value called outer class data also I declare a variable within the inner class also string inner data I give it as inner class data. Okay. Now I am going to create a variable on the outer class. Not variable, a method. Public void outer method. This is the method of the outer class. Also, I create a method on the inner class also. I change it as inner method. Inner method. Now, I just print a message here. from outer class method also I declare also I display a message on the method inside the inner class change it as inner class method now there are two classes outer class and inner class inner class is within outer class and on the outer class there are a string there is a string variable also the inner class there is a string variable I declare that variables with the two values initialize that variables with the two different values also there is a method is available on the outer class also there is a method is available on the inner class also Now I am going to access the outer class variable. Here there are there is a single variable, there is only one variable called uh, which is a string variable outer data. Now I am going to this access this variable within the inner class. An inner class can access all the members including private variables of the outer class. So now I am going to access this string value, string variable of the outer class within the method of the inner class 
so here I'm going to display it outer class data outer class variable value is equal to I just print the value of this variable outer data which is actually a variable of outer class outer data okay now within this method I'm going to create object of the inner class inner class in is equal to new inner class I just create an object of the inner class and by using that object I call that method called inner method ok now I am going to create the main class here public class inner class demo here is the main method is the command line argument ok now I'm going to create an object of the outer class and by using that object I'm going to call this method called the outer method which is a method of the outer class here I'm going to create an object of the outer class outer class o is equal to new outer class now I just invoke the method name method with the name uh, outer method or dot outer method ok so in that method first this message will appear from outer class method after that I just create an object of the inner class and by using that object I just invoke the method of that inner class here is this method it will invoke and it will display this message from inner class method and it will display the value of the outer class this is possible this is uh, this is a valid statement because an inner class can access all the members of outer class here you can see outer data is actually a member of outer class but now this method inner method is actually uh, the property of the inner class so it is possible to it is possible for the inner class to access any members or variables of the uh, outer class so now I'm going to save the program. I'm going to save it in D drive in programs. I save it as inner class demo dot Java. Save as all files, save it. I'm going to run it. Okay, so Java C inner class demo dot Java. Okay. 
okay there is no errors are present on the program so now I'm going to run that program in the class demo okay from the outer class method from inner class method and that while uh, data that uh, values of that variable is also displayed actually this uh, data is from the outer class and it is accessible on the inner class also now you can see that there is a string variable called uh, inner data is present in the inner class now I am going to I just try to access this data these variables to the outer class so I just copy this statement and I just paste it on the outer class method now I am going to access the variables of the inner class on the outer class so inner data it is actually the inner class variable inner class variable now I save it so now uh, if I compile this program this uh, the compiler will generate an error because it is not possible for the outer class to access the uh, inner class variable here the inner data is the property of the inner class so here I am I just try to access that variable on the outer class method so this so actually it is not permitted in Java so now when I compile this program it will create an error because cannot find symbol inner data this is because the uh, inner data is actually the variables of variable of uh, inner class which is not accessible or which is not available on the outer class guys please sus subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates you will get the complete source code of this example from my blog my blog URL is given under the description of this video please subscribe my, my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part of this tutorial